hello guys in this video we are going to see how we can uh, connect with the SQL database and read those data and show those data in data grid view now here the first thing I'm going to do is creating a new Windows form in our Visual Studio project create your Visual Studio project and uh, customize your already existing Windows form or add a new one I will say new item here otherwise you can directly click this uh, form windows forms i will say this for form as form 2 okay and then uh, we should add the data grid view data grid view okay and then uh, we are going to add a button that allow us to read this data otherwise we can uh, directly load those data when this form launch it is fine I will say load data as this button text okay and then uh, we have to provide a name for this identifier for this data grid view in these uh, properties you will see this uh, design section here we can edit this name as I can say data grid view student or something like that now in this read data button I can double click that to open this method click event listener the first thing I'm going to do is uh, import our connection string as a variable how we can get the connection string if you already have connected your database to here save explorer you can double click right click that go to properties and then here you can copy this connection string but in this scenario we have our connection string like this now I'm going to paste that in here a string con is uh, con a string this is a variable name you can use whatever is equals to remember when we are declaring a connection string always we have to put at symbol and then inside double quotations we can uh, pass in the value like this okay that is fine the next thing that we have to do is import some code system dot data dot sql client if you unable to see this class all you have to do is go to your project uh, solution explorer and then right click on it go to uh, manage nuget packages here in this browse section you have to type uh, system dot data dot sql c l i here you can see system dot sql uh, system dot data dot sql client is available you can press install button that visible in here then it will be fine the next thing that i am going to do is just uh, create a new variable called sql connection con is equals to new sql connection and then parentheses okay in this button click we are going to create a uh, call list call to uh, another method we can say read data or something like that read data whatever you want you can use and then uh, let's go ahead and create this method and then in this method I'm going to just uh, say Con dot connection string is equals to our connection string that we declared in the top con underscore string I'm using this uh, windows inside of this Mac that's why uh, sometimes okay 
all right the next thing we have to uh, create our sql query we will say string query is equals to select all from the table name we have to provide which is student in this case that is all now uh, next thing i'm going to create a new variable called uh, sql sql data adapter i will say dpt is equals to new sql data uh, actually uh, we had to do that in the below we can keep this uh, and then here we have to create a new variable now uh, this variable will be uh, something like sql command or whatever uh, no that that should be uh, something like uh, data uh, this should be data table right not other than that uh, we have to write data table now uh, data table is dt is equals to new data table and then parentheses okay it is fine now uh, go back to the button click now uh, this uh, ADPT is equals to new SQL data adapter and then parentheses as the first argument we have to pass in what is our SQL queries in this case our SQL query it's nothing but select all from a student and the second uh, argument will be our connection connection square connection is con right now we have to use this adapter to fill data into our data uh, what we'll call data data table dt dot no no uh, adpt adpt dot fill and then parenthesis we have to pass in our data table variable name okay and then semicolon now uh, I'm going to go ahead and reload my data grid view do you remember we have set uh, our name for our data grid view which is uh, data grid view student we have to say that data grid view dot data source is equals to our data uh, table dt all right that is fine now whenever this form is loading we have to load those data i'm going to double click in this empty area then it will generate that on form load method uh, here we can call for read data method it will automatically read data now now we want to see this form to uh, run this we can uh, i'm going to try to run uh, Unfortunately, we have to change the uh, program.cs Otherwise, there are no path uh, to come that form. Here I will say form 2 application.run I'm going to run it now Right now uh, here we have error con dot connection string. Ah, that's happening because uh, connection dot con dot connection string dot is equals to con string keyword not supported what is the keyword
Ah, here I know the issue. The issue is we did not open our connection. We had to say con dot open and then parentheses semicolon. And lastly, after we read in those data, we can close. We have to close our connection. We have to say con dot close and then semicolon. Okay, now uh, we have to we, here here we have error again. I'm going to just uh, use some try catch to uh, determine what is that error is. I will say try catch and then parentheses inside parentheses we have to say exception or something like that i will say the uh, exception type as ex now we can go ahead and uh, do some message box showing it will show what is the error is message box dot show ex dot message all right now i'm going to run this program what is the error is Keyword not supported data provider. Okay, uh, that is the issue coming with uh, this one. I'm going to refer my another program. Data source. Data source equal, equals to this one. But here in this form, we have data provider. I will say data source. Okay, now let's go ahead and run again. Ah, there are also no database available. That's why we have error. That is fine because I don't have any uh, database by that name i almost forgot that i don't have a particular database available in my computer it is okay but uh, uh, that's how to show data from sql database okay uh, that is it for this lesson thank you very much